Greeting YouTube, September 3rd and the sweatshirt's already returned. Last Friday, Cardinal Cardinal Martini passed away at age 85. He was a critic of the uh, Catholic Church. It was as much of a critic as you can be and still be a member of the Catholic Church, a really high-ranking member. He was actually uh, considered at one point to be Pope himself. And he calls into question the church's stance on a number of topics and comments that he felt in his, la in his last interview, he felt that the church was 200 years behind the times. I think he's off by some. I think it's more like 500 years off the time. The Catholic church is not what you call um, cosmopolitan. But he does present an interesting concept, an interesting argument. Does the church adapt and perhaps continue to be a form of relevant organized religion in the world today or does it stick to its policies and its tradition and gradually just peter into being utterly irrelevant um, which is a real risk for the catholic church while it has a lot of adherence now it has a whole lot fewer today than it did 40 years ago um, and i predict that 40 years from now it's going to have a whole lot less than it does now um, particularly if it sticks with its current stances on women in the church homosexuality, abortion, general contraception, uh, humanitarian uh, matters. It's, it's dug its heels in on a lot of issues and it's not moved on them while the rest of the world has raced past it. And um, if you want to keep the church around as an entity, that's not a good policy in my book. Um, but if the church would adapt to the things I've just suggested, it would become a radically different thing. And in some people's eyes, of course, it would cease to be the Catholic Church. Now, there are those who would think that's a good thing, and there are those who would think that's a bad thing. Um, I've never changed my position on the fact that I'm opposed to organized religions of any, any kind. Um, even... Wiccan covens of only 13 members sometimes make me nervous. I just don't like authoritarian structures when it comes to the faith and spirituality of individual humans. We don't need churches, we don't need priests, we don't need holy books. We need ourselves and our gods and nothing else. But there are people who feel the need and the desire to come together in organizations in groups to worship. I don't completely understand that urge, but they want to do it. And so those organizations should be, as in my mind, as adaptive as possible to the world around them. And the church is in a tough spot. Um, the sex scandal about uh, the abuse of minors um, has been ground-shaking. The church has blatantly defended and hidden rapists. Um, they are, in my mind, an organization of criminals and they haven't addressed that and they haven't come to forward and been honest about it and they have done everything in their power to hide the machinations in the church that made all of this possible moving priests from point to point and allowing them to continue to prey on minors rather than face the fact that within their structure they had priests that were predators um, and again I'm not saying the church had a higher percentage of priests of people that were predators. It's just that they helped to hide them. They aided and abetted the crime. That's the issue. Um, so what does the church do? Adapt or die? Um, I know that I have a few people on this channel which uh, who have viewed my videos which who are still loyal to the Catholic Church. So I'm interested. To those who are loyal to the church, do you think the church can make the, the, the changes it needs? Can it adapt to the 21st century and still remain the Catholic Church? Or to remain the Catholic Church, does it have to stick to its policies and eventually become utterly irrelevant?